So I'm, I'm preparing for the return of John Jones, and I'm watching the fight. Alexander Gustafson versus Daniel Cormier. I'm going over Daniel Cormier, so Daniel Cormier fights. I'm thinking to myself, it was that the second time that Alexander Gustafson got ripped off. The first time was when he devastated John Jones and should have gotten a rematch and he didn't get this rematch for the belt. And now here he just I just seen him polarize Daniel Cormier like five four five times. I I watched the fight over again. I'm trying to figure out why didn't Alexander Gustafson win? That's crazy. I think the only fight I've ever ever seen him lose. And that's just, just me. Kind of fight cheer fan. I think the only fight I've ever seen him lose was the fight against Rumble Johnson and the fight against Phil Phil uh, Phil Davis. But the one with John Jones that was pretty close. But the one with Daniel Cormier, he he pounded that tubby little guy out. So Daniel Cormier, I'm sorry for calling you tubby, but I'm on the internet. What you gonna come get me? Ha <laughs> ha. Peace out, man. I I don't know. I don't know when John Jones come back. I, I hate to say it this way, but when John Jones comes back, I don't think Daniel Cormier is going to be able to take him because I do not think Daniel Cormier is keeping up on his um his cardio. You know, I just like like I, I see him struggling. I don't know if he, if he has issues making weight or issues staying in shape, but his cardio both times just seem like, like he's all over the map. He's so, and he took a beating from Gustafson. So when John Jones come back, I, I, I hate to call it this way, but I, I, I gotta call it for Jones. Uh, right now, as, as it stands, I think John, I'm calling it for John Jones. That's my two cents. But you see, I made, I'm making, I'm improving, making my video shorter. Peace out.